Does your next experiment involve any FH? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against any FH. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and NEF's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick Facts About NEFH Neurofilament Heavy Polypeptide, or NEFH, is part of the neuronal cytoskeleton neurofilaments. It combines with neurofilament light and neurofilament medium chains to make the different neurofilaments throughout our body. NEFH is 1026 amino acids long and runs about 200 kilodaltons on the western blot. Topic 2. Where is NEFH expressed? Unsurprisingly, the highest levels of NEFH have been found in the brain, notably in the cerebellum, hippocampus, and cerebral cortex. Soft tissues also express high levels of NEFH. Male and female reproductive tissues express moderate levels of NEFH. There is little to no expression of NEFH in the remaining organs. You can find more information at proteinatlas.org, including which cell lines express NEFH and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. NEFH in Western Blotting Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that the band for the NEFH runs at around 200 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about NEFH. As the protein name states, NEFH is responsible for making neurofilaments. It is an intermediate protein that combines with NEFL and NEFM to form the neurofilaments in our brain and spinal cord. These filaments are responsible for the intracellular transport of material to axons and dendrites. NEFH is also an important biomarker for neuronal damage. It is emerging as a critical gene in the development of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. People who develop ALS have mutations in the NEFH gene. Thus, in the coming years, NEFH could become a key therapeutic target for ALS patients, in hopes of offering an improved quality of life or a potential cure for the disease. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.